Welcome to Hassett Mentor Review, episode number 33. I'm now back on board after taking a few weeks off traveling up to China and Hong Kong and then some much needed relaxation in Noosa, otherwise known as the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. In this episode, we cover some observations from China, what the size foreign matter would be considered a choking hazard, women in auditing and production signage. So let's get into it. China was definitely an eye-opener with the day-to-day operations providing a great insight on how others live and work. I was fortunate enough to stay with friends in a relatively small district located within the Guangdong province. The Huyang district can be found after about a two and a half hour drive northeast of Hong Kong after crossing the Hong Kong-China border. During the visit, I got to try much of the local cuisine visit the local supermarkets and also visit an ISO 9001 certified manufacturing site. The excellent drinking weather, very hot and very humid, also provided a great opportunity to consume Chinese beer. There is so much I could report, but for now I will just tell you a few of my observations. You can also check the video to see some photos. The most unusual food that I saw being sold in a supermarket was starfish. The worst food quality issue was the inability to butcher any meat to resemble a decent quality cut. The worst food safety practice was the cracking of eggs into a bowl on the street pavement. And the best food that I ate was froy gras, which is duck liver, with dragon fruit. And the most frightening experience was driving on the roads. I don't know how many times I saw my life flash before my eyes. All in all, the trip was a fantastic experience into another culture and I thank our Australian hosts, Michelle and Will, for showing us the sights. I would also like to especially thank Chinese Martin for interpreting, driving us everywhere and answering my never-ending array of questions. As I said at the beginning, it was all an eye-opener. But more importantly, the trip reminded me of how lucky I am to live in Australia. Women in Auditing I have recently written an article on women in auditing, which has been published by RABQSA International. If you haven't heard of RABQSA, they design, develop and deliver personnel and training certification. For me, to be able to audit within Australia, I have to be registered and certified by RABQSA as an auditor. You can check out the article by clicking the link in the show notes. I recently had a question regarding what size of foreign matter would be considered a choking hazard. When undertaking a hazard analysis on a consumer choking after ingesting foreign matter that is present in your food product, it is useful to define the size, type and source of the contaminant rather than just group as foreign matter contamination. These foreign matter contaminants could include objects made of metal, wood, glass and plastic. You would also need to ascertain and assess if your identified size would form a choking risk if consumed by different age groups, including children and the elderly. To get an idea of what size would constitute a choking hazard, you can refer to the government department in your country of manufacture that deals with choking hazards for children. Although this is not specifically food related, there is normally legislation set around the size object is considered to be a choking hazard in reference to toys and toy manufacture. Another good reference source is to check out the US FDA or the Food and Drug Administration Compliance Policy Guide on Foods, adulteration involving hard or sharp foreign objects. This document talks about the risk of hard or sharp foreign matter greater than 7 mil in size and also less than 7 mil in size for the at-risk population groups. I've put a link to this guide in the show notes. This week's action item is to go around and check all production signage is adequately secured and intact. Production signage can become a hazard if it is torn, ripped or not secured. Also check that your signage is not dirty or dusty and it's not a harbourage for pests like cockroaches. That wraps up another episode of Hassett Mentor Review. 
I hope you enjoyed my special report on China and as always I'd love to hear your feedback. Just leave a comment below this episode. Until next time, I'm Amanda Evans from HassettMentor.com.